Hello students, we are starting a 15 days series of 15 questions for quantitative aptitude keeping in mind the GATE 2022 examination. So every day we will be posting one question of one topic of quantitative aptitude on our YouTube channel specifically for the GATE 2022 examination. So there are three important points that I want you to note here. Firstly, the questions that we will be discussing are going to be of gate level. So do not expect the questions to be too tough or too simple. They are going to be good quality gate level questions inspired from the questions that have been asked by gate in previous years. Secondly, whenever the question comes on your screen, I want you to pause the video and try the question on your own. Do not just watch the video as a movie or a series. I want you to take your pen and paper and attempt the question that comes on your screen. Remember, GATE is a numerical based examination. So you have to pick up your pen and paper and solve the question. Once you've given it a 100% try, only then play the video and cross check it with the solution that I have discussed. Thirdly, at the end of every question that we discuss, I will be giving you a practice question. I want you to solve that practice question at your end and give the answer and solution that you get in the comment section of the respective video. We will be giving you the correct answer and solution at the end of the 15 day series. Right now, every minute of your time is important. So we will keep these videos short and crisp to the point. I hope you will find these videos helpful. Share it with your friends. Subscribe to our channel so that you get a notification as soon as we upload a video on our channel. All the best. So let us start off the series with a question from time, speed and distance. This is one of those topics of quantitative aptitude that is tested in all examinations. Not only in GATE but in your placements in uh, exams like banking, CGL, any examination where quantitative aptitude is asked, you will definitely find a question from time, speed and distance. And all questions of TSD can be solved if we know the relation between the three terms involved, speed, distance and time. If we know the proportionalities between speed, distance, distance, time and speed and time, right? In GATE also time, speed and distance is frequently tested and the level of the questions are easy to medium. So let us look at a question of GATE level from time, speed and distance. Two men A and B travel from point P to Q, a distance of 84 kilometers at 12 kilometers per hour and 16 kilometers per hour respectively. B reaches Q and returns immediately and meets A at R. So find the distance from P to R, right? So we have got two people A and B traveling from point P to Q and the distance between the two points has been given to us as 84 kilometers. And the speed of A and B has also been given. So A is walking at a speed of 12 kilometers per hour and B is traveling at a speed of 16 kilometers per hour. So uh, since B has a faster speed, B is going to definitely reach the destination faster. And after reaching the destination, he returns immediately. So he starts walking again towards A and uh, meets A at R, right? So we want to find out the distance between P and R, right? So uh, whenever you see a question of time, speed and distance, two things you need to do. First, try to get a pictorial representation of what's happening, right? So here we have got two points P and Q. Suppose this is P, this is Q and the total distance has been given to us as 84 kilometers and we have a person A who is traveling with a speed of 12 kilometers per hour and a person B who is traveling with a speed of 16 kilometers per hour, right? And they start from P towards Q at the same time, right? So since B has a higher speed, B is definitely going to reach Q earlier. And uh, after reaching Q, he is making a U-turn. And once he is, while he is returning from Q to P, he meets A at a point R, right? So we want to find out this distance. What is this distance? This distance when uh, B is going to reach A. That's what we want to find out, right? So suppose this distance that we want to find out is a D. So the distance we want to find out is a D. If this distance is D, 
then the remaining distance is 84 minus d right till here it's clear so uh, a has covered the distance d whereas b has covered this entire distance 84 and then an 84 minus d okay so the first thing we want to do is get a pictorial representation of what's happening the second thing that we want to do in all questions of time speed and distance is find out which variable is constant so what is the proportionalities that exist between time speed and distance we know that speed is equal to distance by time right so we have speed and distance as directly proportional to each other if if and only if time is constant similarly we have distance and time as directly proportional to each other if and only if speed is constant and speed and time as inversely proportional to each other if and only if the distance is constant. So if I know which of the terms is constant, then I know which proportionality to use and then I will be able to go ahead with the question, right? So here, what do we have? If we read the question carefully, then we can say that in the time A is covering the distance PR, how much distance has B covered? As we just saw, B has covered PQ plus QR. So if I take the time to be T, so in time T, A has covered how much distance? A has covered PR, which is nothing but the distance we want to find out D. And in that same time, B has covered the distance PQ plus QR, right? So PQ is the total 84 and QR is 84 minus D. So this is going to be 168 minus D. So what is constant here? Time is constant. If time is constant, then which relation are we going to use? The direct proportionality between speed and distance. And the speeds have been given to us as 12 and 16. So I know the speed of A is 12 kilometers per hour and the speed of B is 16 kilometers per hour. So how do we use this proportionality? How is this used? The ratio of speed is going to be equal to the ratio of the distances that is covered. The ratio of the speed is going to be equal to the ratio of the distance that is covered. So let's solve the question. So ratio of speed is equal to the ratio of distance that is covered right so ratio of speed of a and b is 12 by 16 and ratio of the distance is d upon 168 minus d so let's simplify this firstly this can be written as 3 and 4 so we will be having 3 into 168 minus 3d is equal to 4d so this will be 3 into 168 is equal to 7d so the d that we want to find out is 3 into 168 upon 7 this is going to get cancelled 14 and uh, 2 8 so 24 and this is going to be a 72 so the distance between p and r the distance between p and r is 72 kilometers so that is option number is this clear so all questions of time speed and distance what are you supposed to look for which of the terms is constant so if distance is constant we want to use the inverse proportionality between speed and time if time is constant we want to use the direct proportionality between speed and distance and if speed is constant we want to use the direct proportionality between distance and time right so get a try to get a pictorial representation of what's happening find out which variable is constant, use the proportionality of the other two terms and you will be able to solve all questions of time, speed and distance. So here's the practice question for you. A started at 8.30 a.m. from place P to a place Q. 30 minutes later, B left P for Q and caught up with A at 11 a.m. B reached Q at 12 noon. So when will A reach Q? Right? So we have both A and B working from P towards Q, but the times are different. So A starts at 8.30 and B starts 30 minutes later. Then B and A meet at 11 a.m. and B reaches Q at 12 noon. So we want to find out when will A reach. 
Okay, so the options are 12.30 p.m., 12.15 p.m., 1 p.m. and 12.20 p.m. So attempt the question and write down your answer as well as your solutions in the comment section below and do not forget to cross check it with the original answer and solution that we will be posting at the end of this 15 day series. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. I'll see you tomorrow with another question from another topic for the gate pen 2 examination. All the best.